Queen's Gambit declined, modern, Miles variation. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. White overpowered Black in the middle game. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. d5 occupies the center and controls the e4 and c4 squares. The d4 square controls the e5 and c5 squares and establishes a solid center. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. c4 gains space on the queen side, prepares to develop the knight to c3, and invites black to give up control of the e4 square after dx c4. The d5 pawn is protected by e6 while the dark squared bishop can advance. And c3 develops the knight, attacks the d5 pawn and controls the e4 square. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This kicks an opposing bishop. This exchange is fair. Takes back. It is the last book move. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. This misses an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good recaptures. It is ideal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. It's all right. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. Very precise. It is best. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This loses a queen. This threatens to pin a knight. It is an inaccuracy. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Recaptures. It is quite good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. While not the greatest course of action, this is an intriguing alternative. It is quite good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This moves away from the queen of checking. It's compelled. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. White overpowered Black in the middle game. 